Clash at the Castle ended in a little bit of controversy, right? Just a little. As Drew McIntyre once again took the big L, this time in front of his hometown crowd, right in front of his people, at the hands of the interference of CM Punk, screwing Drew out of yet another world championship. Now, For some of us, we would see this as yet another great piece to building this feud, right? Another piece of the storyline that will lead to the inevitable match between the two when Punk's healthy. But for others, not so much, as WrestleMania commented on the reaction, if that's what you want to call it. I would say the near riot from the crowd in Scotland after the Clash at the Cashel finish, we will play you the clip of WrestleMania, giving their two cents on why they think this was a bad move from WWE. And then we're also going to take a look at the actual reaction from this crowd. And then I'm going to give my thoughts on the back end. And I have some thoughts. What about the downright ugly? The WWE shot itself in the foot tonight with an indefensible decision of CM Punk costing Drew for the match. Everyone understands that WWE wants to build heat for Punk vs McIntyre, but did the promotion need to stick it to the thousands of fans who paid premium prices to see Drew count the lights again thanks to outside interference? Wrestling history is full of examples where boneheaded decisions ruined a market for wrestling, and it's understandable if the fans in Scotland or beyond say no more. Hopefully the WWE doesn't have any plans to tour Scotland in the near future, and fans who picked up tickets for WWE's European tour may have buyer's remorse after this one. An indefensible finish, WrestleMania says. This is a bad take by WrestleMania. Bad, bad take. What the fuck is your problem? This is pro wrestling. An indefensible finish having Drew McIntyre lose in front of the crowd that paid to see him win. Have you not watched wrestling before? It's called heat, brother. You don't just get to win because you're in your hometown. Now, I don't think that you should just lose in your hometown all the time either, like Vince loved to do just for the rib of it, just for the ha-ha. Oh, we're in your hometown tonight? Let's put you uh, shoulders on the mat, please. Thank you very much. No, this is fucking wrestling. We're building an angle here. CM Punk's out hurt, but they're build- one of the hottest storylines in res- all of wrestling right now is CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. They've been doing this since the Royal Rumble, and Punk is this close to coming back unless he gets hurt again or something like that. I don't worry that he gets hurt walking down to the ring sometimes. You know, they run down to the ring, do the one, two, three as the referee. He might fucking blow out a fucking quad doing that. But regardless... This is how you build heat for an angle. We have a CM Punk who is trying to screw Drew McIntyre every chance that he gets. Why would he not screw Drew McIntyre out of another world title shot if he can get get the job done? If he can do that, do it. That's what you do. That's what you would do in real life. If this was a real life feud, CM Punk would be screwing Drew McIntyre and would take especially take pleasure in screwing Drew McIntyre out of the title in his hometown. It makes perfect sense. I'm sorry that people paid their good heart hard money in Scotland to go watch their boy win the world title. But that's not how wrestling works, fuckheads. One town, one country, I guess, whatever. Uh, you know, the, the, they'll buy their tickets next time, you know. They didn't fucking they they didn't kill the town, all right? Relax. We're trying to build heat here. And 
What what else would you have preferred? Drew McIntyre get the big yay, he won in his home country. And then CM Punk comes out and says, Congrats on winning your title. But uh, I wanna, you know, I'm I wanna shot at that when I'm healthy. No. CM Punk, if it was real life, would stick it to Drew McIntyre. He'd fuck him right out of it. Drew would do the same thing if it was reversed. If Punk was getting a world title shot in Chicago, you don't think it would be in Drew's character right now in this current storyline to screw CM Punk out of the title match victory in his hometown and do it with glee, do it with a smile on his face. That's exactly what you would do. To me, this finish made perfect sense. This was the only finish to do. There, you don't just give Drew the victory because he's in Scotland and the people paid their good money to see it. I don't give a fuck what you paid your good money to see it. WWE screws Scotland if Drew doesn't show up. If they don't give them a good match with Drew or if Drew, you know, loses in two seconds or something silly happens, then I get it. But we're talking a greater story here. The story is not the one night in your town. They did the same thing with Sami Zayn in Montreal, but it wasn't as, you know, the vitriol wasn't there like it was for this one. This is bad you see what they did poor samantha irvin's just like okay drive safe and they're like boo fuck you and that's fine it's a good reaction for the crowd to be pissy and get angry that's heat that's what you want and if you're thinking that this is oh this is go away heat though you can't just screw a guy out of the title in his hometown yes you can that's wrestling that's so why we're telling we're telling a fucking story about a guy that hates another guy so much that he screws him every chance that he gets. Well, think about the fucking story, moron. CM Punk, my dreams to main event WrestleMania. It's the one thing I never did. I come back, I'm in a huge hot angle. Punk most likely was going to face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. And we wanted that story because of the promo they did in the ring. It was great. But when Drew hurt Punk in the Royal Rumble match, I was pissed. I was like, fuck. First of all, because Punk, you know, fragile ego, fragile body, fragile mo- whatever, you know, what Mox said about him rang true again. Punk can't hold himself together for anything these days. But... What came from that was magic. Drew came out. I was always the biggest hater of Drew McIntyre. I didn't get him. He's doing the sword thing, and everybody's like, yay, Drew's our champion. I was like, oh, this is the worst champion. Fuck, man. We're really doing Drew McIntyre in this era with his skirt that he comes out with and his sword, and I'm just a big, hairy, greasy fucking good guy baby face i didn't buy it it didn't work for me but this drew mcintyre holy shit one of my favorite things to watch on tv period drew mcintyre heel drew and not even heel because everything that he says is true it's only makes him a heel to say it because he's saying it about cm punk and people love cm punk better for the most part But Drew comes out and he's fucking, I prayed for this to happen to you. And it had, oh my God, the heat right there. Then the t-shirt with the fucking, with the, with the I screwed punk on it. And he's holding up the deuces, which they were clearly playing off of when punk came out and was like, nope, it was only two, you know? And I think there is uh, somebody already made that meme, you know, that would have been a good one for my thumbnail, but somebody already did it. So I'm not going to do but punks, you know, throwing it right back in his face. This is what you do. Drew has gleefully, he's been going around. He, he blasts cult of personality when he's driving by fans and laughing about it. He's mocking him every chance he gets, making fun of how fragile he is. All of it. Have you kept track of all the shit that Drew's been doing to punk? This is the story that they're telling. So it would be out of character. It would be out of storyline. It would not make sense for Punk to not screw Drew McIntyre. To just sit back on the couch, eat some Cheetos, and watch Drew McIntyre win a world championship. Now, sure, you could argue, well, if Punk, maybe Punk would want a, him to win the title so that he could beat Drew and win the title. Nah. 
Also, they have this feud built up so good right now that they don't need a championship. Championships add stakes to a feud. It adds something of interest to make you go, okay, this match is important because it's for a championship. Drew and Punk is already important because of all of this. Because of the shit that they've been doing to each other for months and months now. And it doesn't get old. It hasn't gotten old. It's fun every time. Every time Drew crack and look, I am a huge CM Punk fan. One of the biggest. I'm a mark for CM Punk. But I love Drew McIntyre for the shit that he says about Punk. Because it's funny. Because it's good storytelling. Because it's just, it's well written. It's well done. It's just a great story. And for Punk to just sit back and let Drew win a world title, it's not in character. It doesn't make sense. And just so happens that WWE's schedule falls on, you know, falls on. Yes, we'll put Drew in the main event. But just because it falls on Scotland and we're going to be in Scotland doesn't mean that Drew automatically needs to win the title. Now, I've also heard the arguments that, well, they screwed him last year in Wales, you know, against Roman. And he got screwed at WrestleMania. When are the Scottish people going to finally get their, you know, when are we going to finally get our comeuppance for Drew McIntyre? Drew's going to win a world title again. Don't you worry about that. He'll probably win the feud with Punk. Between the two, if you're booking it, you're not going to put Punk over, probably in the first match. But then you do a return match, or maybe not. You know, you get two, three matches out of it. And Drew McIntyre comes out on top, then he can move on to the world title. You people fucking, I am so sick of the goddamn pussies on the internet crying about everything. Now you're getting offended at finishes to wrestling matches because your guy didn't win. That's it. It wasn't bad booking. It wasn't a screwy finish. It didn't not make sense. It wasn't. It, it, this was perfect. It was perfect. A perfect heat building tactic to build more for the punk Drew McIntyre feud. And we're going to cry about it because people in Scotland paid the hard earned money to win our guy. I watch our guy win the match and he didn't win the match again. Oh, you keep screwing us. We're not even going to come to your shows anymore. It's so preposterous. Get the fuck over it. Quit being a pussy. It's pro wrestling. This the pro wrestling angle in a pro wrestling match is called getting heat. The good guy doesn't always win, usually in the end, but the story's never done. So, you know, along the way, look, man, Thanos got one on the over on the Avengers. I'm sorry Spider-Man had to get blipped out of existence. I'm sorry you had to live through that trauma when Spider-Man died and Black Panther died and uh, everybody but the original Avengers who had to come back and reform to go and fucking beat the big heel and win the story in the end. Drew will get another title shot. He'll get the fucking win over CM Punk. He'll get the last laugh. He will be the one that comes out on top. But they're going to make some magic along the way as long as Punk can hold up and he doesn't fall to pieces along the way. They're going to make magic. They're going to have a beautiful feud, a beautiful rivalry, beautiful matches, Bloody, violent matches, I would imagine. Brutal matches. I don't know what you got. What do you guys want? I want my guy to win in my town. Fuck off. Fuck off. It's wrestling. Ooh, yeah. Thanks for checking out the video. You can check out more great clips by hitting that subscribe button below. Yeah. While you're there, don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to like it if you liked it. Ooh, yeah. Did it.